99.3. Not bad. Oh, it's been two weeks without coffee. Um, it still smells amazing. <laughs> hey, bro. Hello, brother. <laughs> Morning. Just enjoying a nice cup of bone broth. And today I wanna to talk about quitting because this morning I woke up to a message from a client and he's quit. He's quit completely out of the blue. And obviously that's normal, you know, when it comes to coaching, people quit, people move on, people's priorities change. But um, for this guy, it was, it's particularly, what's the right word? Disappointing because the kid had so much potential, you know? Um, he was only 20 years old. He was doing everything almost to a T. He was still brand new, but he was making insane progress. Lost more than two pounds a week, every single week, consistently without fail and he was making insane progress, had so much potential. And I just wake up this morning and he's quit. And I don't really know what happened. There's no reason why or anything like that, but this happens, you know? And I know for him, he was always asking, how can I go faster? How can I make more progress? And he just, he just wanted everything to happen like now. And I get it, I've been there, especially as like a, a young man, as a, hell, as a 20 year old, I was an idiot. You know, I had too much of an ego to, to even think about hiring a coach in the first place. So he's definitely, you know, his mindset is further ahead than I was at 20 years old, but he just wants everything to happen like now, 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 because that's the world that we live in now, you know, with the, the whole TikTok, the social media, the instant gratification, the fast food, like we're just being socially programmed to just want things today but anything worth having, whether it's a physique, whether it's a business, whether it's a good relationship, all of these things take time to build. And you've just got to show up every single day and put in the work and just make sure you're making progress. And the crazy thing is, this dude was making insane progress. So just understand, right, that if you are, you've got some goal that you're working towards or you've got some goal that you're thinking about, right, it's gonna take 10 times more effort than you think it's gonna take. For example, with YouTube, you know? If I, I thought, okay, maybe I can get to 100K subs within a year, and um, I'm at like, what, 11K right now? It's not been a year yet, it's maybe like nine months or something, but the chances of me hitting that goal are <laughs> extremely slim at this point. And if I had the mindset where I just wanted it now, 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 I would have quit a long time ago because it takes so long to build up and, and start getting momentum. And the reason why I'm not where I wanna be yet is because my videos aren't good enough. It's because I'm not good enough. I have a skill issue, okay? I am not good enough at YouTube to have, like my videos are not good enough to get the views and to get the subscribers and to reach 100K. And honestly, I don't really care about subscribers. It's, it's a vanity, vanity metric at this point. I really care about the number of people that I can help and impact. And there's not really like a quantifiable number for that. So just subscribers is a nice, easy, tangible goal that anyone, anyone can relate to. But tying this back to you and quitting is just understand when you start something new, your excitement is really, really high. So it's very easy to do everything correctly. But then once what, what happens is, is after a few weeks, the excitement starts to die off and then you start to realize how much actual work that you've got to put in. And it always, always, always takes so much more effort than you think it's gonna take, without a doubt. And there's, there's a really good book on this topic called The 10X Rule by Grant Cardone. I'd highly recommend it. I'd probably say it's one of the best books I've ever read. And the big idea from The 10X Rule is that people set 
goals which are far too small we've all been told to be realistic okay and don't aim too high and just choose a goal that you know you can achieve so that you don't get disappointed if you don't achieve it that's the typical general advice where grant in the in the vid in the book sorry grant cardone talks about you should set whatever goal that you want to achieve you should aim 10 times higher because most people severely underestimate what they're capable of and most people set goals which are far too small which are not exciting and which don't motivate you and when times get tough which inevitably they do if you don't have a really big goal that you're working towards you're much more likely to quit and he also says another idea from the 10x rule is you've got a 10x your goal okay so say if your goal is to make 100k a year then you should aim to make a million a year because then your actions change like what it takes to make 100k a year is far different from what it takes to make a million a year for example because your actions are going to change and he says you've not only got to 10x your goal but you've got to 10x your actions and take massive action every single day and if you do that then even if you fall short of that 10x goal even if you don't make a million a year, but you make 250k a year, well, that's still two and a half times more than what you would have made if you were just aiming for 100k. And that's assuming that you even hit your goal in the first place. And as we know, like most people don't hit their goals. It's, it's very simple. Most people quit. I don't know what percentage of people quit on their when it comes to their fitness goals, but it's a massive percent. It's probably over 80, it's probably close to 90% of people never reach their fitness goals. And it's crazy because it's just, it's so easy and it's so simple, you know, when you have the right strategy in place, okay? So this is just a video for anyone who's thinking about quitting. Don't quit. Remember why you started. And if you're thinking about quitting, just take, just, just take some time off, okay? To take a day off, take a day to go on a walk, go on the beach. If I ever, I'm having, I'm having doubts because I have doubts, you know? I, I look at YouTube sometimes, you can, you can get all caught up in the, the YouTube analytics, you know? And you post a video and you don't get many views and you just like, oh, you just doubt yourself. You're like, oh, can I do this? Is this gonna work? Am I doing the right thing? What am I doing wrong? And all these kind of like negative thoughts get in your head. And whenever I get like that, I just, I'm in a low vibrational state and no good work is gonna get done. Nothing productive is gonna get done. I just need to, first of all, get my mindset back into a positive state and raise my vibration. And what I do, which works for me, is I'll go walk on the beach, I'll listen to an audio book, I'll watch some, uh, you know, just some positive YouTube videos. I will go and do a sauna, an ice bath, I'll just eat some nice food and I'll just try and stop thinking about work for even just a few hours. And then after I've done all those things, I usually come back to it and I, I just realize how silly I've been thinking. I'm like, oh, come on, James. You, you've only, you haven't been even, even been doing this a year yet. Of course, you're not gonna be where you want to be. Like just, just stick at it. And anything you want to achieve in life will always take 10 times more effort than you expect it's gonna take. So if you, uh, anticipating that it's going to take you one year to build your dream physique. Aim for 10. It's probably going to be a lot faster, especially if you do everything correctly. And if you hire a coach or you work with someone or you, you really study everything, you can do it a lot faster. But if you go into it with a mindset that it's going to take you 10 years and then it only takes you three years, well, for me, that is a massive win. All right, guys. So if you're thinking about quitting, don't quit. Don't quit today, stay the course, take a break, go and do something different. Take your mind off things for a bit. Don't quit today, quit tomorrow if you have to, but just stick in the game. And simply by sticking in the game and simply by not quitting, that is how you beat 90% of people. The bar is literally so low. All you have to do is not quit. All right.